So, Dave Evelyn, you are up, sir. Okay, got it. All right, so there you go. What I said before, and here you go. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I can make this uh, large enough. Everybody can see it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, right. So we did a, a pilot uh, with Conversations um, earlier this year. Um, my name is Dave Evelyn. I'm the Executive Director of Online Education at Johnson University, uh, which is a member of the LAMP Consortium. Um, and hopefully very quickly, I can show you the small scale pilot that uh, we did of the Conversations tool, uh, which is a newer tool uh, that's integrated into Sakai as a potential replacement for the Discussions tool that's been highlighted in other sessions. Um, so. Um, uh, in real briefly, Johnson offers courses online and uh, in both of our campuses in Tennessee and Florida. And as a small institution, we have uh, we've been using Sakai for uh, quite a while, over 10 years now. We use discussions as a way to provide student to student, uh, student to instructor and student to content experiences um, in any given course. Uh, and the new tool, Conversations, has really impressive changes uh, to both the overall layout and functionality. Uh, the tool is meant to be an eventual replacement, like I said, of the current discussions tool, as, as far as I understand it. Um, and this pilot involved a couple of courses which had offered a discounted use of the Yellow Dig tool, which some people may be familiar with, um, at the result, uh, as a result of the pandemic. Yellow Dig sort of flung in here and decided to give us some discounted offerings with their, their tool. We jumped in on that and, and used it a little bit. Um, and that was fun, uh, but then a lot of our faculty decided they would balk at the, the cost of Yellow Dig. So uh, Conversations is a partnership between uh, Duke University's Learning Innovation and uh, Creative User Experience team and alongside uh, the host uh, provider of uh, Duke's Sakai platform. And so Conversations takes a bit of a cue from other online conversation tools and provides two different topic types, discussion and question. The discussion option provides what most of us are familiar with, a conversation around a centralized topic, and uh, often it's generated or queued by the instructor. The question type provides an open-ended uh, channel for students to answer their own questions uh, rather than address a topic presented specifically by the instructor. Um, you can scan the QR code on the screen and that'll take you to Duke's site that talks about this a little bit more in detail um, since they are the originators and uh, collaborators of the tool. In thinking a little bit more about the tool specifically, Discussions, as we look back in a way, Discussions, the current tool, is really quite powerful on, on its own along with its own set of statistics and for posts and reads across the entire tool, forms and topics. You can also grade uh, the content. You can see the content in context. Yeah, but within sense. the context of the conversation oh, tool, back. this makes it a little bit easier uh, because there's a built-in search function. And also those of you that are familiar with delegated access, if you've ever jumped into a course that has discussion content, um, with delegated access, you can't access any of that, that discussive content. Um, however, uh, the, the conversations tool seems to get around this. Uh, you're able to jump into a course that's using the conversations tool with your delegated access, and you can see all the substantive content there. I'm not sure if that's a feature um, or if that's just simply by that, that way by design. Um, so in polling for instructor feedback, uh, we got the following sort of uh, feedback from folks. I like the functionality of the conversations tool in class. Uh, the tool was really informal, which helped with its low, uh, with help, helped uh, with how approachable it is. Um, someone said conversations was more natural for the students because it functions similar to social media. Um, other uh, faculty members said students are familiar with social media and it allowed them to use uh, the conversations tool uh, with some proficiency. It didn't seem like it required a whole lot of instructional uh, assistance. And the simplicity of the interface invited greater engagement by the students. So maybe it was a little bit less, uh, less cognitively uh, in, uh, in intimidating in a way. So leaning toward parity, uh, so we're, we're trying to uh, sort of think about what conversations is going to become if it's meant to be a replacement for the discussions tool. Um, we're looking, of course, to uh, Duke's innovating uh, uh, innovate, innovations team and the, the partnership they have with Longsight about what's uh, coming. Um, but currently, uh, there's not necessarily a way to link uh, conversations to lessons, although that could be also a, a, a pedagogical uh, paradigm sort of shift rather than doing a linking uh, from lessons that could be engaged. Um, there's not necessarily a grading functionality uh, right yet. Um, for those faculty that used it, they essentially uh, created uh, entries for those discussions, for those conversations, um, and then they would uh, essentially use two different browser windows to bounce back and forth to do the, the scoring. And uh, of course, right now there's no 
uh, in that idea then too, there's not any connection with any sort of rubric function like you can have with rubrics. Um, if you wanna follow more information about the particular development, you can check that, uh, um, that uh, QR code that's down there or that, uh, um, uh, that JIRA number. Um, and that's all I have to share. Uh, I'm willing to entertain questions.